Welcome to the February 2017 edition of City News. I'm Steve Jones. Coming up on this show, we're going to talk about the City of Douglasville winning an award, some important information about a major rehab of O'Neill Plaza, and Police Chief Gary Sparks sitting down to talk to some citizens. Those stories and more are on the way on this edition of City News. February is National Heart Month, and the employees of the City of Douglasville showed their support by participating in Wear Red Day. Human Resources Director Tia Alston filed this report. Hello everyone, my name is Tia Austin. I'm the Human Resources Director for the City of Douglasville. And today, here I am with our staff to celebrate National Wear Red Day. We are bringing awareness to heart disease and stroke. And we do this event every year with our city staff and it's just an honor to be amongst all of these wonderful staff people to help us bring awareness to this cause. So when I say go red, you say go red. Go red! Go red! <laughs> it's real or false. The heart circulates roughly one million barrels of blood in the average lifetime. Nathan? That's true. <laughs> one million barrels of blood. Jesse Davis Park has a long history of providing outstanding sports opportunities for our youth. The Douglasville Tiger Cubs have called the park home for many years and have fielded some pretty outstanding football teams. The 2016 season was no different and these fine young men were honored by the mayor and city council during a February meeting. We'll move on to Parks and Recreation Committee. That's chaired by council member Chris Watts. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We have several items tonight. Uh, item A is to adopt a resolution, resolution which recognizes and honors the Douglasville Tiger Cubs eight-year-old and under D1 football team for its very successful 2016 season. Thank you guys for inviting the Douglasville Tiger Cubs out. The 8U um, D1 Douglasville Tiger Cubs, they had a great season. They won the 2016 Super Bowl. Right now, I would like to present you guys the 8U uh, Super Bowl champs, Douglasville Tiger Cubs. All right, item B, adopt a resolution which recognizes and honors the Douglasville Tiger Cubs nine-year-old and under D1 football team for its very successful 2016 season. I'd like to um, call up the nine-U D1 Douglasville Tiger Cubs. <laughs> item C tonight. Adopt a resolution which recognizes and honors the Douglasville Tiger Cubs 12-year-old and under D1 football team for its very successful 2016 season. Douglasville Tiger Cubs 12U. <laughs> Item D, tonight adopt a resolution which recognizes and honors the Douglasville Tiger Cubs 12-year-old yeah. and under D2 football team for its very successful 2016 season. I mean, it was just a great year at the Douglasville Tiger Cubs in 2016. Coach Frank Payne. Whoever you D2, come on down. The year has started out to be a busy one for the Douglasville Conference Center, and Center Manager Jennifer Johnson is here to tell us about one of the events the city was proud to host, the monthly Comcast Business After Hours, one of the regular networking events put on by the Douglas County Chamber. Jennifer Johnson, I'm the director of the Douglasville Conference Center, and tonight we are hosting the Comcast Business After Hours. Uh, we're having some great food, everybody's networking, having a good time. Yeah, 
you want to come see the Douglasville Conference Center, the phone number is 678-715-6094, or you can go on our website at DouglasvilleConferenceCenter.com for information. Since taking charge of the police department two years ago, Chief Gary Sparks has made it his focus to connect the department to the public. We Are One is more than just a slogan for the chief, it's his promise to the citizens of Douglasville. To follow through on that promise, the chief has enacted some very effective new practices. These include his DCOP, or Douglasville Community Outreach Program, town hall meetings, and most recently, his chat with the chief, which was held at Arbor Place Mall. Chief Sparks and his command staff met with the public in the relaxed atmosphere of the mall so they could exchange ideas, meet new faces, and let the public see that our police department truly is one with the community. For the past few years, the employees of the city of Douglasville have been working hard to live better, eat healthier, and improve their lifestyles. The hope was not only to be more healthy, but also to help reduce health care costs. Well, these efforts have indeed paid off, and the city was recently recognized by the Atlanta Business Chronicle as the healthiest medium-sized employer in the metro area. Mayor Rochelle Robinson and the city's HR staff attended a special breakfast where the award was given, and they filed this report. Now we're going to do the drum roll for Atlanta's number one healthiest employer in the medium-sized company category is the city of Douglasville. <laughs> Good morning, this is Rochelle Robinson, Mayor of the City of Douglasville. V elated today to be here with the team, the Human Resources A team, Ms. Tia Austin, our Director of Human Resources, and our Deputy, Ms. April Tolbert. We have just won the medium-sized City for Healthiest Employers Award that was sponsored by the Atlanta Business Chronicle and Kaiser Permanente. I just cannot express my gratitude and my thanks and my excitement for the city employees and especially for our team because they've really helped us to bring up our game for health in the city of Douglasville with lunch and learns and cooking demonstrations and just a lot of education and, it, and congratulations to the employees as well because we've taken the onus to make this place a healthier place for the city of Douglasville. You cannot put a price tag on your health. I just want to say congratulations to our employees. Without them, we could not have received this award. I would encourage them this year for 2017 to stay engaged, to be on the lookout for a new robust wellness program for 2017. Um, we are bringing new initiatives and trends um, to our wellness program, Be Fit with DFIT. So we would like to see us in this position again for 2018. Again, I want to thank all of the people that are responsible for this reward, to include our employees, to include our benefits broker, Shaw. Hankins and to include our previous health care provider Kaiser Permanente. Without them none of this would be possible so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day and stay fit. The landscape of downtown Douglasville continues to change for the better. Late last fall ground was broken for a newly reimagined O'Neill Plaza. Work has begun on this important project and should be completed by this fall. The Communications Department here at the city will be putting out updates on the project as it progresses. Community and Development Services Director Jonathan Lynn files this report on the start of the construction. Hello, I'm Jonathan Lynn, Community and Development Services Director with the City of Douglasville. As you can tell behind me, the remodel of O'Neill Plaza has finally gotten underway. So as you can see, they're tearing up the bricks, they're going to remodel, they're going to take the fountain, they're going to move it to the other side of the plaza. However, this is going to take approximately about six months to complete. So there is going to be a little bit of inconvenience to people coming through the plaza. But as you can tell, if you come along the eastern portion of the plaza, you will be able to walk through between Church Street and Broad Street to access all the restaurants and all the amenities that we have downtown coming in from the parking garage and from Church Street and the conference center side. We do apologize for the inconvenience, but we cannot wait to see what it looks like in the next six months, as I think there's going to be a lot of good things coming from this project. For more information, please check out our city's website at www.douglasvillega.gov. That's going to do it for this month's edition of City News. We hope you've enjoyed all these stories from our City TV News Division. Remember, you can stream City TV and find all of our programming on demand at mycitytv.com. We're also on Comcast Channel 22. Please take a moment to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
For all of us here at the City of Douglasville's Communications Department, I'm Steve Jones. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on City News.